Hi everyone, um, today's message is going to be on viewing a certificate with OpenSSL. And for this example, we're just going to use um, the example.com SSL certificate that I've already downloaded. So, assuming you already have OpenSSL installed, we're going to use the x509 utility. We're going to say n is the um, flag for the certificate file that you're going to be parsing with, with OpenSSL. And text means to print the full details of the certificate in text form and then no out means don't display the certificate. So as you can see the certificate was not displayed as far as the the PIM encoded certificate. If I remove no out then it does append the certificate to the bottom. I don't really find that useful uh, but nonetheless there it is if you need it. So so we've downloaded the cert from example.com and I'm just going to go through some of the details here. So this is a X509 V3 certificate and it shows you the serial number in hex format SHA-256 with RSA encryption signature. You can see that this was issued by DigiCert. Um, the validity period, this is a two-year cert and then your subject DN, some extensions, and here's your policies, your certificate transparency, signed certificate timestamps. So I'm not going to go into those details. By all means, if you want to learn more about those, check out our blog post and it goes into much more detail about each of these details on the certificate. But I'll show you a few more shortcuts if so you don't have to read through this. It can be somewhat hard to read. So to view only the serial number, you can say, just put the serial flag at the end. I did something wrong there. I don't want to say text, because that displays everything. So there, your hex serial number. And this is a much quicker way to get at the data that you're interested in. You just want to see the public key, say dash pub key, just the modulus, dash modulus, and you know there's there's some other commands. I think subject is useful. We'll do that one. That's one of the more common things that, that you'll need to look at. And if you want to look at, say, the expiration date, end date, same with start date, or dates, show both of them. So, And then it's also useful to see the fingerprint sometimes. So if you need to see just the fingerprint, there you go. Shows you the SHA-1 fingerprint. So that's all that i've got for this lesson um, if you have any questions please leave us comments and subscribe to our channel thanks